Hi everybody, it's Brad Meldow here, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about this uh, project uh, that I've recorded. It's going to be released on Nonesuch Records, and it's called April 2020. Um, it's a suite of 12 uh, short pieces and, uh, and then three other uh, covers uh, to end the record. And um, the suite was, uh, like the title sounds, it was um, composed and conceived in April, a few months ago. Um, and it's uh, ruminations um, on... Um, particular experiences that have been unique to me and, and hopefully you, the listener, um, will find some uh, simpatico um, with, some of the, uh, with some of the compositions um, in terms of how they uh, address these kind of emotions uh, and new experiences um, that have come about through the COVID-19 crisis that's uh, shaken us all in various ways. Um, I'll let the music speak for itself beyond that, and I'm going to play one at the end of the record. Um, before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about one other aspect of the record. Um, many musicians are suffering now um, because from one day to the next, uh, we were suddenly without income that we usually get from uh, performing. And uh, for many of us, uh, almost all of us, uh, uh, most of our gigs are off the books and uh, in the air for the time being. And um, for many musicians who, who uh, support themselves from gig to gig like that, uh, it's been very difficult. There is an organization called Jazz Foundation of America um, that operates out of New York that I've uh, been a big fan of for several years already. Uh, and they do a lot of work in offering things like pro bono uh, insurance for musicians who need it. And what they also do most importantly is simply help out musicians uh, paying their rent, um, which is super important now. Um, and uh, so what we're doing here with Nonesuch and a lot of the people working on the project uh, who have been involved um, is uh, we're doing this for free and we're giving all the proceeds and profits, um, all the royalties um, directly uh, to Jazz Foundation of America and the way that's going to work is, is kind of fun. Um, the record industry, which is the name of, uh, not the record industry on the whole, but record industry is the name of a, a vinyl mastering studio here. In fact, uh, right uh, just outside of Amsterdam in Harlem, uh, Holland, um, uh, which prints vinyl for none such regularly. And they are going to, uh, they have uh, made 1,000 um, special uh limited edition 180 gram masters of April 2020. We are going to, none such is going to offer those um, um, on sale for $100 uh, dollars, or the comparable price in euros um, uh, for the first 1,000 uh, people who will buy them. All the proceeds of those will go directly to Jazz Foundation of America as a way to, get, to kick this out and, and help this organization, um, which we really want to do. Um, and beyond that, what can I say? Um, well, I just want to say that I hope you enjoy the music and um, also uh, that I have signed those 1,000 copies. So uh, if that's something nice for you as well, it'll be a one-time thing. After that, uh, simultaneously, the record will uh, be released digitally, and a bit later on, um, the regular release uh, on CDs will be available. Um, thank you all so much for your time and attention, and uh, I hope you enjoy the music. I'm going to play one piece that takes place around the middle of the suite. It's called Remembering Before All This, and this was an experience or an emotion I had uh, in April as this thing kind of really started to play out. Um, and it's, it would be a feeling that struck me where all of a sudden I had a memory of the past that was pretty recent. Uh, for me, I was playing with my trio in March and our tour uh, got stopped in the middle. And I was remembering the experience of uh, when everything, the way it was all before, uh, and with a kind of uh, melancholy, nostalgia, and a little bit of a heartache. So this is remembering before all this from the suite. And it will also be available as a free sheet music PDF online. Thank you very much.